Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another counter side video. Alright, alright. So, um, number one, I can't speak well because of ulcer right here. So, if I mispronounce something, it's because I can't speak properly. Alright, so let's talk about this particular one. The Diligent Payer Sticker. Uh, recently, C server got this. I know not recently, but a couple of days ago. Alright, where you can farm the Horizon Finance exclusive gear for Horizon. Regular SSR Horizon, not the Awakened one. Uh, you can also farm for Rita and Dash. I haven't gotten any of this, so let's do it. Uh, we're gonna check out the stage that you can farm for the exclusive gear, aka the Payment Ledger uh, event. I mean, not event, but exclusive gear stage. So let's give you guys a guide. So 1-1 should be straightforward. I hope you guys can do 1-1 easily. Alright, this one is kind of straightforward. So 1-2, I just figured it out. Uh, these are the strat that I use. Now, I try to make it as free to play friendly as possible. So I hope a lot of you guys have Enterprise and Kim Hana. So some of you guys might be watching this in the future for global, right? So keep that in mind. Notice we have uh, Adele, Carl Wong, and Yang Harim to start off with the Kim Hana activation to give uh, everyone deployment cost. So Adele will have the attack speed gears. Just give her your best attack speed gears. Carl Wong, skill haze. Uh, I think about 56%. If I'm not mistaken, let me check for you guys if you guys want to see it. 56%, yes. So Yang Harim has about 60%, 53% skill haze as well. So skill haze. So Ministra will have the better skill haze right here. So Ministra has about 70 um 70% skill haze. So notice uh Ministra and then we have uh, Liumi and Riam Orca. Now Riam Orca can be replaced easily with any other characters, but she's very good in PvE. I would highly suggest you guys to build her. Uh, you can sort of, sort of replace her with Rearm Asterosa. That could be an option or any other Rearm units. But Rearm Orca is decent right here. Not the best, but she's just extra there to help out your Liumi to be able to tank as well, right? And then alongside, we have Rosaria and Seoyun to boost everybody's damage. So this is a full auto strat, all right? So it's like a hands-off. You don't do anything, sort of kind of leave it right there and just let the game do its thing kind of a strat. So hopefully uh, that can help you guys understand why these characters are arranged in this particular order. If you're lazy, right? If you're lazy, you're trying to farm 1-2 a, a bunch of times. Ideally, you want to farm 1-3 if you can. But 1-2 is going to be much easier for a lot of players. Now, Adele, uh, first, is the concept is very straightforward. It's for her babies to tank for you, right? And notice we have Ministra and Liumi now in front. So we're going to have Riam Orca out soon, right about now. So once Ram Orca and Liumi is out in front, so they will be sharing the the tanking equally, right? So alongside to hopefully try to bring down Rita. So hopefully Yang Harim being the only um in this case she's the only supporter, which is kind of I don't know, risky if that's a term, you know. But yeah, we also have Carl Wong along the way, ETC as well. So hopefully this uh, if you have decent gears and everybody has gears, you should be able to do it within 130-ish. And looks like I'm a bit close, but I couldn't do it this time maybe? Huh. I could do it the first time, but looks like this time is a bit off. I guess this strat is not super consistent. So let me try and do it one more time and show you guys the same strat. So that time, that time I was off by 4 seconds, which is kind of surprising. Not sure what happened right there. So sometimes there's a little bit of inconsistency like crit and stuff that can happen in the game. So let me go one more round and I want to see like how consistent is this strat. 4 seconds off. Okay, this seems to be a slightly better run. I can't tell. Uh, the stun. Oh, Rita has this uh, stun that she will... Uh, the enemy Rita, alright? Not, not, not anyone in your team. Enemy Rita will always have this stun occasionally. Alright, you can see I'm doing way more burst damage this time around. Uh, Carl Wong and... Okay, this time I'm doing like way, way better, it seems like. I have way more uh, headroom this time, it seems like. Yeah, so I guess it's a bit inconsistent because of the stun and stuff, but the exact same team, I didn't change anything, you know. So, try and give it a couple of runs if you guys... Okay, let me show you the battle statistics, which is more important. So Adele is always very useful for PvE, alright? Always you get Adele. Uh, maybe if my Adele is like higher, uh, level right now I'm at 102 right if I 110 her perhaps she can be more consistent Ministra also quite good alongside with Carl Wong decent damage uh, We have Riam Orca we have Rosaria right there I strongly believe Rosaria can be replaced if you want to you can replace with like Kim Sobin or whoever that you think can help you a little bit more 
uh, alongside with uh, Liumi also again you can see a little bit low Yang Harim at level 100 Xiaoyun ETC yeah I gotta, I gotta start working on you know like increasing their uh, their levels a little bit so let's move on to the next stage 1-3 okay so the next stage uh, this one is a little bit tricky I will show you guys some footage from my live stream earlier which I did attempt this stage but uh that one is a little bit different uh, you can either use Admin Rifleman or you can use Shinja. Uh, in the earlier footage, I was using Admin Rifleman and I had like one second difference. And I'm pretty sure you can do it. It's just uh, I was lacking in the damage. So let's talk about the strat overall. We have Sigma to give roll advantage uh, alongside with Jake right here. Awaken Jake. Can be replaced with Awaken Hilde if you prefer that. Awaken Hilde, Awaken Jake. Not too much of a difference. Alright, so they both just need one solid tank. Awaken Ayubin you cannot use because he dashes forward and Horizon ignores him. This Horizon in this stage acts like a siege unit. She will always move forward, so you gotta keep that in mind. Awaken Suyun provides a ton of damage, so she's good here. Alongside with Rita, uh, Yang Harim for the shield, Ifrit, uh, Shinja, and uh, Suyun. Alright, so keep in mind Shinja can be replaced with Admin Rifleman if you prefer that. So let's show you the gears uh, on my... Sigma, this is 72% skill haste, as good as it gets. So Awaken Jake has HP, Defense. Alright, so these are the stats. So uh, attack speed on Awaken Xiaoyun. And then we have uh, Rita right here with the skill haste, just straight up skill haste. Yang Harim with more skill haste. Uh, this is Ifrit with as much uh, anti-ground and anti-defender as well. So that you can do as much damage. And lastly, Shinja and Xiaoyun don't need that good of a gear. So yeah, let's show you guys uh, with admin rifleman, but this is a better strat based on my based on my finding. It's not super consistent, so you guys make sure you guys have to try it a couple of times. Yeah, never thought of using Sigma, but maybe like that. Horizon got no chill. <laughs> I'm activating Kim Hana too late. I think I'm doing it wrong. Let's see if this dude can help. Maybe that dude. So now I'm replacing Dash for Horizon. How much is Horizon's roll advantage damage or whatever? Yes, yeah, stun the Sigma. Stun the Sigma. Stun the Sigma. Oh. Slap. Is it better? Oh, it's slightly better. I can do it. Come on! Oh, what the heck is that? One second, dude! One second! Why is it one second? You no one second. Why is there one second? All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hope this can help some of you guys out there. Maybe in the future, global players will be able to reference this as well. Uh, yeah. So make sure that you guys maybe you know you can refer to this guy if you guys are watching in the future. Hey, how's global server doing? Hopefully you guys are enjoying the game. But hey, uh, it's been a fun one for sure trying to attempt this stage is kind of challenging and I like it. Make sure you guys test this strat a couple of times because it's not consistent. I noticed that uh, Sigma sometimes pushes your character more than usual. Sometimes she pushes less. And did I just say Sigma? I mean Horizon. Horizon enemy Horizon will push your character occasionally and your Sigma is very good in that case because that CEO that Sigma produces cannot be pushed back as well. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Good. Bye.